Hey everyone, we're back with the Kenmore CSV Go. I'm sorry about, uh, about the background noise, but I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm having some issues with this machine and I'll show you what the problems are. Number one, this gasket here, how, like there's something is some issue with it, and there's air blowing out from the front. <laughs> it's supposed to be coming out of the exhaust here. And to show you, I'll show you right now. Air blowing out of the front. When it should be sucking into the motor, there's the fan. But there's air coming out of like these holes and out of here. And the other problems I'm having is the filtration. The filter stops most of the dirt, but it becomes clogged so easily. You can see how much dirt is already on it. We've only sucked up this a little amount of dirt right here, just quickly. You can see the inside of here is all filled with dirt. And this filter is just too much maintenance. I constantly have to wash this filter off. Like I'll show you just how much dirt's on this filter after being uh, used for so long. Or for only, look, look at all this. This is all of the dirt that was on this Kenmore's filter. This would not happen with the LG or the Dyson V7, which I have right here, that I'm going to clean this up with when we're finished, so I'm sending this machine back to the store. I'm going to clean up all that dirt. be doing a one-year update on the Dyson V7 soon. So the bin's easy to empty, but the cyclone is really bad. The battery, another problem I had is that the battery overheated like really bad. The battery got so hot that I had to unplug it from the charger and put it in front of this fan here before the battery like melted or something because <laughs> it was so hot. I was charging it over over there. It's the Bissell My Air and that's happened over there. I decided to move it away from that outlet where the LG is plugged in because there's too many things into that outlet. So the other issue I have is that this brush roll constantly gets clogged with tons of dirt and stops spinning. It is easy to clean, but it's a real pain. These wheels are also, have some hair stuck in them, as you can see by the hairs that are sticking out right here. Right there. That's not happening with the Bissell Icon Pet. You can see the difference between the Icon Pet's large brush roll and the little baby brush roll of this. These brushes are not stiff. They've gotten softer and frayed out since I purchased the machine. It does have this nice felt strip, but the felt strip is already starting to flatten right there. Well, in one year, the felt strip of the Dyson V7, besides these two corners that have gone down a little bit, this felt strip is still there. But this nozzle just isn't powerful enough. The motor is right there. It's this tiny little like toy motor. It's right there. It's like that long and this big around. It's, it's a joke. Like, as wide as that tube, and maybe this long, probably about that big right there. It's uh, so small. It bogs down on my carpet. The quality of it's not too bad, but it's, excuse me, save your money and get the Bissell Icon Pet, the LG, the Dyson V7, the Hoover Blade, any of those machines. This is not that great of a cordless vacuum. It is inexpensive. But I don't think it has overcharge protection because this charger, it's pretty cheaply made versus the one that's on the V7 and it's nice thick cable. This is like a basic phone, not even like a phone charger. You can see it's bent right here, but it's not good quality. Charge $10 more and give us a better cyclone and a better filter. It's not better filter, sorry, better charger. 
It is lightweight. It is easy to use. It's like a battery air exhaust. Right there. It's probably because the battery gets so hot. <laughs> the Bissell Icon and the LG don't have that problem. Yeah, they are cheaper, but they're better vacuums. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I wouldn't really recommend this Kenmore. My experience hasn't been good with it. And I'm not sure if I can guarantee that yours would be any different or the same. So, oh, sorry. If, it would, if you would get a bad vacuum or if you would be happy with it. So I'm going to empty this out and vacuum the inside out with the V7 before I ship this back. I'm not shipping it. I bought it nearby. Throw this napkin out. This piece of fuzz right here. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time with more videos. Stay tuned.